Now first switch to screen 1 from here. Then we can start coding with good understanding. First, when you click on Let's Read on this screen, we need to switch to All Story screen which contains all the names. Let's create that section. For that, I drag the On Event block under UI controls like this. Now we click on the Let's Read button. So I clicked on the small arrow near ID and selected Button Read. Now with this, the screen needs to change. So I go down a little in UI controls and drag the set screen block like this. Now when you click this arrow, the all story screen will appear. Let's switch to all story screen like this. Now when you click on this home icon, you need to go back to screen 1. Let's create that part now. For that, I drag the on event block under UI controls like this. Now we click on the image called home. Therefore, I clicked on this small arrow near ID and selected image home. Now with this, because the screen needs to change, I go down a little in UI controls and drag the set screen block like this. Now click this arrow and select screen 1. Now when you click on how Andre ate sugar, the first page of that story should be displayed. Now let's create that part. For that, I drag the on event block under UI controls in this way. Now we click on the label that says how Andre ate sugar. Click the arrow and select label story 1. Now with this, because the screen needs to change, I go down a little in UI controls and drag the set screen block like this. Now click this arrow and select story1 underscore page 1. Now from this screen, switch to the screen called story1 underscore page 1. When you click the next page button here, the second page of this story should be displayed. Let's create that part. For that, I drag the on event block under UI controls like this. Now we click the next page button. So I click the little arrow where it says ID and selected story1 underscore button1. Now with this, because the screen needs to change, I go down a little in UI controls and drag the set screen block like this. Now click this arrow and select story1 underscore page2. Now from this screen, switch to the screen called story1 underscore page2. When you click the back to all stories button here, the all story screen with all the stories should be displayed. Let's create that section. For that, I drag the on event block under UI controls. Now we click the back to all stories button. So I click the small arrow where it says ID and selected story1 underscore button2. Now with this, because the screen needs to change, I go down a little in UI controls and drag the set screen block like this. Now click on this arrow and select all stories. Now from this screen, you can switch to all stories screen. 